Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to solve a maximization type assignment problem very easily. So let's start. Our question is solve this assignment problem for maximization. Assignment problems are generally of minimization type but in some cases they may also be of maximization type. For example, in profit maximization or revenue maximization, here we have four persons P1, P2, P3 and P4 and four machines M1, M2, M3 and M4 and these values represents the cost of assignment or cost of allocation. For example, if we assign machine 1 to person P1, our cost of allocation will be 5 units that may be 5 rupees or 5 dollars but if we assign machine 1 to person P4 our cost of allocation reduces to 2. So let's proceed to our solution. Step 1. Convert to maximization problem. This is the original matrix I have rewritten here and for converting to maximization problem first search the whole matrix for the largest number. So here the largest number among all the numbers is 28 and subtract each number from 28 and write to form the minimization problem. So 28 minus 5 is 23, 28 minus 8 is 20, 28 minus 12 is 16 and 28 minus 2 is 26. Similarly, do the process for all the elements. You will get the equivalent minimization problem. Step 2. Get at least one zero in each row and each column. This is the my minimization problem I have written here. Scan each row to see whether there is at least one zero or not. We can see in row 1, row 3 and row 4 we don't have zeros. So to bring a zero what we can do? We can search for the smallest number in that row and subtract that number from each of the numbers in that row. So here in row 1 the smallest number is 16 subtract 16 from each of the numbers in row 1. So 23 minus 16 7, 20 minus 16 4, 16 minus 16 0 and 26 minus 16 is 10. Similarly do the same for row 3 also. The smallest number is 6. So 8 minus 6 2, 6 minus 6 0, 25 minus 6 19 and 23 minus 6 17. Doing row operations we get this matrix. Again we will scan for each column whether it has at least one zero or not. So in column 1 and column 4 we don't have any zero. So we will do the same operation. In column 1 the smallest number is 2, 2 is subtracted, 7 minus 2, 5, 11 minus 2, 9, 2 minus 2, 0 and 6 minus 2, 4. Similarly do the same for column 4 also. So we will get our final matrix in which each row and each column has at least one zero. Step 3. Draw lines to cover maximum zeros with minimum lines. Next we will draw line and we will start with that row or that column which has maximum number of zeros. So we can see in column 2 we have three zeros. So we will draw our first line or L1 in column 2. So next our target is to cover two zeros but you can see in all the number rows and columns there is only a single zero. So we can draw lines arbitrarily. So we will draw our second line L2 in column 1, L3 in column 3 and L4 in column 4. Step 4. Test for optimality. The numbers of lines drawn is 4 equals to or not the order of matrix. So here the numbers of lines are 4 and order of matrix is 4 cross 4. So number of lines and order of matrix is same. So the current solution is optimal. Step 5. Do the allocation. And for doing the allocation, scan each row and each column to see in which row or which column we have a single zero. The row or the column which has a single zero from which we will do our first allocation. Luckily in this question, in the first row we get our single zero. So we will do our allocation. Allocation means covering that zero with a block and cross all the zeros against that row and that column. Next we will again search for a single zero. So here we have a single zero. So we will allocate here 
and scan for zeros yeah in column wise we have two zeros so we'll cross them crossing means these zeros cannot be allocated elsewhere next our third allocation because we have single zero here this zero is already crossed so third allocation is done so we have only one zero left so our fourth allocation will be done here make the allocation list allocation list means machine one is assigned to person three machine two is assigned to person two machine three assigned to person one and machine four assigned to person four this is the assignment list step five and our final step calculate the optimal allocation cost with respect to original or our original maximization matrix here i have written the original matrix in original matrix in m2p3 position we had g12 so 12 plus in m2p2 position we had 28 plus in m3p1 position we had 20 and m4p4 position we had 9 So adding all these, you will get 69. Our optimal allocation cost. So friends, this was my video on maximize and type assignment problem. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you like the video, please like it using the like button below, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. And please share the video on your YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter profiles. By sharing the knowledge, you may help someone else. You can watch my other videos. on minimize and type assignment problem vogel's approximation method northwell corner rule matrix minima method and modi method etc the link to my operation research playlist is given in the video description i have uploaded many videos on this fx nanonon es calculator from mode 1 computational mode to mode 8 vector mode also i have uploaded videos on this fx set to ms calculator like 20 cool features of this fx set to ms calculator and how to solve statistical problem on this calculator etc so thanks for watching see you in my next video and stay connected by subscribing